Hello. Today, now we will take the uh, we will take grammar unit eight primary five. First conditional. If first conditional. Use the first conditional to talk about things that might happen in the future. So we use a first conditional to speak about or talk about things that might happen in the future. If I press this button, the machine will make a pizza. If this machine doesn't work, I'll be very upset. And upset here means nervous. I'll be very upset if this machine doesn't work. So, if first conditional, if present symbol, will infinitive. If first conditional, if present symbol, will infinitive. And we, we use first conditional to speak about or talk about things that might happen in the future. If if I study hard, I will succeed. Uh, if, it, if the weather is good, I will go out. So, these uh, are things that might happen in the future. This is if first conditional. If present symbol will infinitive. Infinitive. Don't forget, if present symbol will infinitive. This is the first conditional. And also we have uh, the question with will, will future symbol. Do you remember future symbol will infinitive? We will take the question form, uh, yes or no question. We will ask with will. Will I get, will I get ill? If I don't eat fruit and vegetables, will I get ill? If I don't eat fresh fruit and vegetables, yes, you will or no, you won't. Will I succeed? If I study hard, yes, you will. Okay, this is if first conditional. Ask with a question with will. In first conditional. As we said that if first conditional, if present symbol will infinitive. If present symbol will infinitive. So, let's practice it. If you don't wear your jacket, you, you will be cold. Well, infinitive, you will be called. Number two, will the teacher be angry if you... Huh, here will, so present symbol, if you are late. Yes. Number three, I'll be very sad if you want to come. Four, will the boys play football? Will the boys play football if they find the ball? Number five, the cake will burn if she, huh, present symbol, yes, doesn't turn off the oven. Six, honey, comes to the party if you invite him. No, honey will come, yes. Honey will come to the party if you invite him. Because here, if is in the middle. So, future symbol and present symbol. Okay, we write, don't eat too much or you will feel ill. Use if. How can we use if here? Huh. Think. Okay, so if you eat too much, you will feel ill. If you eat too much, you will feel ill. Number two, I'll get a present, I'll pass my exams. I'll get a present, I'll pass my exams. Okay, if I pass my exams, I'll get a present. If I pass my exams, I'll get a present. Number three, he must study hard to pass the test. Of course, all of us must study hard to pass our tests. So, how can I use if here and if here? Huh. Can you see? Yes, small letter. So, we will put it in the middle. How can we put it in the middle? Think. Hmm. Yes, he will pass the test if he study hard. Again, study so. He will pass the test if he studies hard. Yes. Okay, number four. They will practice well to win the match and here also if in is a small letter. So we will put it in the middle. How can we use if here? 
they will practice well to win the match. So, they will win the match if they practice well. Yes, they will win the match if they practice well. Yes. Choose again. Will do or does you help me if I help you? Yes, will you help me if I help you? Number two, will Rania help with housework if she have has is where free time? If she has free time, present symbol of course. Number three, if I get up late, I won't catch the bus of course. If I if I get up late, I won't catch the bus. Number four, you must this bottom if you want it to if you want the machine to work you must press number five we had two and we had two here two plus infinitive of course we had two because we are late we were late we had to hurry yes number six what do does will did your father do if you pass the exams what will your father do if you pass the exams and here we write no you won't be healthy if you eat junk food yes how can we use yes here of course yes you will be healthy if you don't eat junk food again Yes, you will be healthy if you don't eat junk food. Number two, if Ahmed runs quickly, he will win the race. Not, huh. if Ahmed doesn't run quickly, he won't win the race. Again, if Ahmed doesn't run quickly, he won't win the race. Here, if, again, and if here is capital letter. So we will begin with it. Listen to your teachers to be good and be clever. So, if you listen to your teachers, you will be good and be clever. If you listen to your teachers, you will be good and be clever. Again, if you listen to your teachers, you will be good and be clever. Number four, we will buy a car if we have enough money. Use she. She will buy a car if she yes has enough money again she will buy a car if she has enough money look at this dialogue let's answer it tourist there is a question yes i speak english can i help you tourist again question the museum is in tahrir square tourist is it near or far from here? Farah answered. So, let's begin. Yes, I speak English. Huh. Do you speak English? Yes, I speak English. Can I help you? Here, where is the Egyptian museum? The museum is in Tahrir Square. Is it near or far from here? No, it's not far from here. And we have finished.